Hey guys, Penadaily here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we basically fought our way down Cycling Road and got to Fuchsia City, which we explored. Yeah, and then we went flew to Lavender Town because now we're going to take on the Silence Bridge. As you can see, we um, switched uh, Toph in for Insufferable, and this is our setup because we do not need or want Chiding. So, off to the bridge. Which has a much nicer um, music set then. Alright, so uh, on this route, not just the bridge, but also Route 13, 14, and 15, we can find Venonats. Yeah, they're new. Uh, bell sprouts and weeping bells. Bell sprouts are common, weeping bells are rare. Pidgeys are common, Pidgeotos are rare, and Ditto are rare. Yeah. No uncommon Pokemon, just common or rare. I don't get it either. Jupiter is in the front because obviously this gentleman. Yeah, I got a bite here. Mm, good, I'm glad. It's hard to fish when you're hungry. Uh, yeah. Dittos are nice uh, for breeding purposes, which you can't do until the end of the game. Other than that, they're not great. All right, so Goldeen, Goldeen. Right, um. Thundershock is probably okay, given how much I outlevel this thing. No. Huh, okay then. Okay. Yeah, Fire's power was weakened. Shockwave. I mean, you know, why uh, use up PP for the power move? when you don't have to. Alright, so yes. And now we're going to send out a Poliwag. New. No. This Poliwag is probably... I'm going to go back with Thundershock again because honestly, I don't think this thing is as tough as his Goldeens. Oh, come on! Bubble. You'll okay. get Right. This bridge is going to be like all water types, so yeah, Jupiter's going to ha have a lot to do. And Goldeen, no. I like Goldeen, I think they're pretty. Uh, eh, Thundershock. Alright. Whoa, crit! Nice. Good thing. I just went with the less the, the lower power but higher PP move. Fisherman Ned defeated. Just a small fry. You or me? Hang on, my line snagged. Whoops. Okay, we obviously can't do anything with that just yet. But we got another fisherman. Be patient. Fishing is a waiting game. Yeah, that's why I don't like it. I I do not have a lot of patience. Fisherman Chip. Yeah. Fish and chips. Really? Alright, Tentacool. Uh, I'm gonna Thunderbolt this one, because I don't want to risk it uh, poisoning me. Dude. Confusion, it missed. Good. Shockwave. These guys are a little higher level. But, hey, ah, Tentacool fainted. Tentacool, sometimes known as the Zubat of the Seas. Uh, I don't really have anybody. I mean, Mimeon could, but I do not need more levels for Mimeon right now. So, yeah. That's super effective. Water Sport. I don't know why you guys are doing that. Yeah, fire's power was weekend. You're fighting a Pikachu. Oop, didn't want to do that. Oh, well. We're fine. We can always run back and, you know, top up our shock rat if necessary. All right. And Jupiter grew to level 29. Very nice. And we defeated Fisherman Chip. That one got away. 
Pikachu likes chips with ketchup. Well, the British version of chips, anyway. Yeah, we could, and of course, we could totally, um, yeah, the Fishing Fool versus Pokemon Kid. Uh, do I look like a Phantom Thief? Sorry. Actually, uh, it's the, I keep calling it the special, it's Pokemon Adventures that is the manga I'm thinking of, and, um, Leaf's character is actually, she's blue, or green, depending, um, she's blue in the Japanese and green in the English just as, okay, we've actually got a tougher fish this time. Shockwave should still be enough. And I'm going to heal, because I don't want to bother using a potion. So, yeah. But anyway, uh, blue or green is, uh, as opposed to green or blue, uh, she is a phantom, she is a Pokemon thief. A bit of a phantom thief, in fact. So, yeah. I guess I do look like a phantom thief. I guess you get to be good at what you like. Well, you beat me at Pokemon, but you can't top me at fishing. No, I can't. I'll be right back. And I'm back. So yeah, uh, Professor Oak does not yell at you for riding your bike on the bridge. Good to know. Okay, so this guy. I wondered. I love fishing, don't get me wrong, but it'd be best if I also had more work. Uh, what do you do for a living? Fisherman Elliot would like to battle. Apparently he takes care of extraterrestrials. Yeah, these guys are, this is why I healed up. Thundershock should be fine. These guys, he's got four Pokemon, and they're all kind of low level. So, yeah. Poliwag Feigned. Shelter, I think we're fine. Shelter are not, like, ground type or anything. Thundershock again. With the level distance we've got, this should be perfectly fine. Luckily, this game does not expect you to have the experience share. No, I'll, I'll fight it. Because, you know, you wouldn't have had it in the original, so. Uh. Alright, yeah, the Goldeen seem to be rather tough. Good. Shockwave. Alright. Critical hit. It's super effective. I critted with Shockwave, really. Alright, Jupiter. And Horsey knew. No, I will not. Alright, and Thunderbolt. I don't... I mean, you have Poison Point. It's... Or, no, you do not have Poison Point. It's only Cedra who has Poison Point. Whatever. Player defeated Fisherman Elliot. It's not easy. It's alright. Losing doesn't bug me anymore. Well, that's good. Okay, that is a young couple. And yes, if you talk to them, you will get into a double battle. So I'm putting Minty, because... Minty and, of course, Tope. If I win, I'm going to propose to Gia. Propose to her anyway, dude, because you're not winning. Ugh, I really wish this guy did not look like Archie Andrews. I like the later young couple designs. Alright, so yeah, they've got the Nidoran set up. Um, Minty's kind of high-leveled. Uh, Minty, fight, um... Peck, I guess. Magnitude! Damn! Minty is kind of... Yeah, it doesn't affect Minty. Minty is kind of badass. I really only threw Minty out because um, she'd be immune to Toph's uh, magnitude. That works. That works really well. All right, I'm not gonna... I don't know about trying to catch that Snorlax, what with the annoying rest, but I think I will at least try and kill it and get some experience. And Toph leveled up. Oh, please, why couldn't you let us win? Ask her to marry you anyway, you doofus. Jess, you silly, you ruined this. <sighs> People. Let me 
gotta say. Sports fishing area. Uh huh. Want to use the poker flute? Yes, I do. All right. Minty's actually in the front. Whatever. I do like that tune. Snorlax woke up and attacked in a grumpy rage. I'm not gonna give this thing too long because honestly, they're a pain in the ass to catch. And I am not trying. I think they're, they may always be different genders, but I don't know. That doesn't do. Yeah, okay. And there it used its uh, chesto berry. Right. Fine fury attack. Wow. Oh, crit. That's nice. Three times. It used yawn. Whatever. Minty can get in one more fight. Or one more attack, fight, uh, pack it. Not bad. Yawn, but it failed. And now Minty is asleep. Um, now I'm going to actually transfer in Marion. All right, Wild Snorlax, you snore, but it failed, good. Uh, fight Will of the Wisp. Burn this uh, sucker. Good. Yeah, use yawn. I don't care. If it rests, I will run. But I'm at least going to give it a bit of a try. If the burn actually kills it, I will be highly amused. And I got some great balls, which is better than. Well, I got more great balls, which is good. Yeah, I didn't think that was coming. Alright, get rest. Yep, screw it. Yeah, screw it. Marion's asleep. I'm just running. Yeah, screw it. Snor I don't care that much about Snorlax. It gave a huge yawn and returned to the mountains. So, now we could go this way. Um, well, that was silly. Bag. Um, let's see. Town map. I first want to see where we are, just for fun. Yeah, we could we could go to Vermilion now, past Diglett's Cave. It's not even that far. Um, wait. Bag? Ugh. I should maybe be able to use that polka flute? Okay. Yep, Pokeflute awakened sleeping Pokemon. So, Minty and company are now not asleep, as you can see that they were before. So that's pretty nice. And you can find leftovers in the spot where the Snorlax is sleeping if you have the item finder, which I still have not gotten. So, oh well. Well, let's keep moving. Um, and let us move Toph into the front, because, yeah, you'll see why. First, though, we go in here, and then we're going to deal with that guy. I'm the fishing guru's younger brother. Yeah, I can't bear to go without. Yes, I do. Grand, you can be friends. Take this and fish. Now we have the super rod. This is the best rod in the game. Fish is up good. Uh, higher level Pokemon. Better Pokemon and go out and land the big one, my friend. Now I have a request. If you got your big magic carp. I don't think that's going to happen. I'm not sure, well. Electricity is my specialty. I don't know a thing about Pokemon of the Sea, though. You may be in the wrong place, dude. All right, well. Rocker Luca. Uh, that's, that's interesting, uh, given everything. You know, I was expecting the electric guitar guys, but new. No. All right. Yeah, okay, Magnitude. Son of a bitch! Yeah, that doesn't do a lot to a rock. It probably would have done more damage to Insufferable, actually. But Voltorbs are famous for that shit. 
Okay then. Sheesh, magnitude again. Yeah, they're faster, so. Magnitude six? Ow. Well, yeah, I was afraid of that. It's fine though. I can take one more sonic boom. So unless it's like magnitude two, you're fine. And there we are. Good. All right. And we defeated Rocker Luca. He lives on the second floor. I'm sorry, I really like Suzanne Vega. Um, I will be back. I'm gonna go heal in Vermilion. And I'm back. So now we've got various trainer, oh dear. Well, well, I, if I wanna fight her, I'm gonna need to uh, go back and get Chideng. Well, we'll fight this guy and then I will do that. So before I do fight this guy, Marion, you're up for a reason. You'll see what it is. What's catching? You never know what you could catch. The flu. <sighs> okay, Fisherman Andrew would like to battle. Fisherman Andrew sent out Magikarp. Level 24 Magikarp. You are obviously a member of the B Button League. Um. Quick attack. Yeah, tackle. That was a crit. This won't do any damage, but maybe it'll hurt itself. I mean, and I gotta show it off sometime. Yep, Magikarp became confused. Is confused. Hurt yourself, dude. Splash. Okay. Yeah, tackle is still about the only freaking thing. Aw, oh, it snapped out of confusion. Tackle. Just quick attack it to death. Eh, crit. Not bad. I mean, I could use Jupiter to electroshock this thing to death, but... Marion could really use the XP... And again, I won't bother with confusing the next one. It's also a level 24 Magikarp. Nope, she's fine. I'll use a potion if I really, really have to, but quick attack. Especially if you keep doing that, I'm probably fine. Quick attack again. Yeah, we don't have to fight that lady. You really just like using Splash. There we go. Tackle. Quick attack. Tackle. Quick attack. I'm gonna just probably go back and switch Chiding for Mimeon. Yeah. That was just pathetic. Lost it. Yes, you did. Alright, I will be back. And I'm back. So yeah, uh, it occurs to me I could could probably teach Fly to um, Minty. Um, that doesn't mean I I would still need Chiding for things like this. I'm searching for a Moonstone. Have you found one? I have. Do you want to trade? I don't need it. Okay, you're a different picnicker, Camper Justin. Okay, I don't actually know what you've got. Oops. Well, let's see here. Oh, right. Uh, you've got the Nidorang. Okay, well, obviously, uh, just bring in the rock. Alright. You're fine. Poison Sting. Not very effective on the rock. I'll use an antidote on her later. Fine. Fight. Magnitude. Uh, 
I missed what you did. Wow, only four. Well. Super effective, but yeah. Well. Magnitude again, poison stink again. It's not very effective, and I'm already poisoned. Five? Is it the poison messing with you? It probably is. But it worked. So whatever. Alright, Jupiter gain. Yeah, Jupiter to level 30, that's just as well. Uh, yes. And yay, level 27 for my rock. Good. No, Nidorino. Uh, she should be fine, honestly. Fight magnitude. Horn attack. Uh, that's a crit, but yeah, not very effective. I will use a, a a potion on her if this does not kill this thing. It killed it. And I'm going to use a potion and an antidote on her anyway, rather than go back to town for the tenth time. Player defeated Camper Justin. Ow. Okay. Alright. Let's see. Antidote. Use on the rock. Good. And super potion. Use on the rock. Which is enough. Good. And... And we found iron. Meh. Well, I'll sell that. Alright. This is the guy we just fought. If you want to fight, you know, like, get a ditto, you would do it in there. Now, I do have Jupiter, so... Fight her. I found Carbos in a cave once while I was spelunking. Cool. Alright. Picnicker Alma would like to battle. Yeah, then she sent out a Goldeen. That's a pretty powerful fish. Um, better Thunderbolt it. Good. Good. Yeah, that, that's a that's quite a powerful fish there. Okay. Uh, apparently it's a demonic fish, given the exploration. No. The experience points. Polywag. Uh, Thunderbolt. Just for the level issues. I mean, we out-level these things, but... Alright. Alright then. And horsey. You get to keep going this. Alright. And Thunderbolt, just for fun. Alright. Yeah, that was pretty fast, wasn't it? Gotta love it. The... I do like how they... Most of the... A lot of the things here are good... Well, there's like poison because you're next fighting the poison gym. They do think about things like that for grinding up. My bird Pokemon want to battle with you! Bird is not a type. It used to be. Missing number is actually listed as bird type. But they dummy dummied that out before red versus blue even uh, hit hit you know anywhere. Eh, I'm just gonna keep thunderbolting. All right. Good. Pidgey fainted. Uh, nope. Uh, Pidgeotto, and we'll just thunderbolt it too. I like pigeons. I think they're awesome. There we go. Yep, yep. Let's see. And Pidgeotto fainted. Jupiter gained XP. Yay. Hmm. Yes, your bird combo lost. Also, your hair or hat or whatever it is makes you look like you're cosplaying as a Cubone. Um, you know what? I'm told I'm good for a kid. Okay. Hopefully she will start with the Pokemon I think she's going to start with. Pidgey, yes! 
Because all the rest of her team are not weak to lightning. But this one is. And is reasonably low level. So let's get a little extra, you know, and get this bird, er, bird get this Pikachu up to the next level. Very good. All right, and yes. Out come the rock. Yep, go Toph. Picnic or Susie sent out Meowth. We're going to basically be magnituding the hell out of things. Even with our attack down, we should be fine. Yep. Yeah, she's all normal type. Well, not all normal types, but basically... No, I won't change out. Basically, there's really not a lot. Alright. I mean, you know. Oh, good. We'll get extra money. <sighs> extra money is always nice. Magnitude 6. That's not bad. Magnitude again. Bite. Magnitude 6 again. Honestly, uh, Toph is basic. Toph is basically going to be doing a lot of fighting the next few people, which be is good because we really need to get her up to, um, you know, uh, up higher levels. Nope, Ratata die to earthquake just like everything else. Tail whip, really. Yeah, that's, that's not going to end well for you, rat. You dirty rat. All right. And Pikachu. Yeah, um, I think we're fine. Unless you're actually Ash in drag. Which, no, you're Picnic or Susie, not Picnic or Ashley. I mean, Quick Attack does actually get in some nasty... Or can get in some damage, but it's not enough. Not too bad. And she grew to level 28. Very nice. We defeated Picnic or Susie. Oh, I lost. Yes, you did. And moving on. Okay, we got a pair of beauties. And some Picnickers that we will have to kind of go through this whole freaking maze. This is Route 13, north to Silence Bridge. Yeah, we're off Silence Bridge. Uh, and I'm actually going to call it here rather than keep fighting because we're almost at half an hour. So, let's save. Yes. Yes. That's fine. And Penn saved the game. Yay! So, thank you guys for joining me for Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green, and I will see you next time. Have a great evening. Goodbye. So, yesterday we discussed Xerneas. Today we move on to the next letter in the sequence, Eveltal. Eveltal's name is based off of Y, of course, and possibly also Evil, seeing as it's a dark type, and either Quetzal or Talon from its bird-like nature. Visually, Eveltal is based on the letter Y, but also a creature known as the Long-Tailed Widowbird. Some of Eveltal's color scheme may come from the Widowbird, as well as black and red just being evil colors. Eveltal is also related to Norse mythology, possibly Hraesvelg, a giant who had the power to transform himself into an eagle, and whose name meant Corpse Swallower. Or it may reference the ravens and crows who flocked to the battlefields, or the pair who served Odin. The primaries on the wings and the points on the tail also resemble a fungus known as Devil's Fingers. As Xerneas' life, Eveltal represents death. In an inversion of the legendary phoenix, Eveltal reaches the end of its life cycle and sucks in all the life around it, leaving a wasteland. Then it remains in an egg-like cocoon for 1,000 years, only to hatch and begin again. Its signature move is Oblivion Wing, Death Wing in Japanese, a flying-type move that does damage and also heals Eveltal for 75% of the damage done. As for shiny Eveltal, well, everything that's black on a normal Eveltal is white on them. 
It makes them look like a flying, a flying strip of bacon. Maybe the designer should have thought that one through.